Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory. You've been seeing a lot of packs throughout the week, um, but today it's currently Saturday early morning. I think this video is going live on Sunday. Um, today has been a busy, busy day trying to get ready, cleared, and uh, ready for uh, Christmas. So if you guys are watching this, happy Christmas Eve. Hope you have a good day and an even better day tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a pack opening coming out with Jack as well. Um, uh, doing some just opening packs with Jack really for, for Christmas. And uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy that video. But if you do want the MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. Now, we took advantage of the Perlo SBC. A lot of players uh, selling for crazy amounts. Um... Why does it say untradeable? Is it because he's been used or something? I don't know. Um, but we have Valero selling some some lazy buyers bought him, guys. He was going for about 5, 6k. He sold for 10k. Um, so I'll take 10, took 10,000 coins from him. Same with Rodriguez. And uh, the same with Donnarumma. We also have Nani selling for 9k. DeVry 3.3. 2.5 for Perrin. And Musaccio 7.5. 8.50 for Candreva. And we've got all this crap. Uh, on the trade pile but there is uh, today just going to be showing you some games of the weekend league um i think it's going to be the saturday i don't know where we're going to finish in the weekend league you guys will probably find out in tuesday's video which will be the squad battle rewards but we have some packs to open i think this is an untradeable pack which i got for playing 10 games of fifa so it, it's just some tradable players, really. Um, if we get anything good, we can send it to the trade pile. That's not good, is it? Masawaku. Premier League player. Could come in useful um, at some point, and we've not got him anyway. Plus the healing anchor chem style CDM and uh, the other stuff. Uh, that one will send to club and list up uh, Roland. So, uh, and discard that because we can't do anything with it. And now we've got the mega pack. This was from Friday's. Footmas SBC, and then we've got another SBC to do as well, where hopefully we can get some huge damn mega pack with nothing in it. Unless we get Jesus and Martial, Italian striker, Balotelli, not bad, not bad, could have been better. Seen a lot of people getting icons from these packs. We've got Balotelli, um, loads of contracts, a squad fitness, an attribute card which are pretty irrelevant at the moment. Then we have got Nathaniel Klein and. Um, how much does Nathaniel Klein go for? So we've got Nathaniel Klein we can make some money off. Benteke, I don't know. We'll, we'll sell all this stuff and uh, get rid of it anyway for some coins. And then we've got the new SBC for today, which is another footmas one, uh, which is this one. And we're going to complete it already. Uh, with loyalty six, nationality is leagues six, exactly gold, 72 chemistry. We've got 77. Um, and this one gets the premium gold pack. Um, as well, so we're staying up to date with the Footmas SBCs as we always like to do, and uh, let's see what we get in this one. And these will be the final packs, guys, until probably we can. Uh, sorry, the squad battle rewards, and we get a Finn pack again. Don't you hate Finn packs? I absolutely despise them. But we get Benaglio, the Hood, Rob Holding. Not bad, 1.2950. I'll hold them to him and probably hold on to him as well um now a lot of people were asked oof, oof. he may come in useful because i might end up using him because i did tell you guys that i am going to be doing the league sbcs to stack up packs for team of the year that's only around the corner now uh, so the more players i've got in the club the, the better um so an update on what's going down guys squad battles we're currently done saturday's first batch uh, which has put us eighth in the world i need to get to 80,000 points to get elite one for the week but depending on where i do sit um i'm coming at night now actually um depending on where we do sit that's when i'll decide what we're going to do whether we're going to go for top 50 top 100 or even just remain elite one because time is scarce at the moment um and that's there if we move into foot champions i'm going to be showing you some highlights of probably five games of the last probably the last I don't know, maybe 20 to 30. I'll show you five games of that, which is a sticking point. Uh, we are at 16 wins and four losses currently. Uh, two losses, which I definitely could have won the game, but um, my finishing was absolutely atrocious. Uh, and for the month, we're looking at, right, 140 games, 34 losses. I would say that's pretty good. I don't know if you would agree or not. Um, but Elite is basically... Oh, we just hit gold one. So we've, we're basically 14 wins 
off getting Elite 3. And the final weekend, we'll just need 20 wins. But you guys know we're going for Elite every single week. Hopefully, we can get it this week. But taking the four losses takes us to 36. We've only got a gap of seven games to lose um, and see how we do. So that's basically it. I'm going to show you some highlights now. I'll probably sign off the video tomorrow. I don't think there'll be anything at the end. Maybe just highlights, actually. And then we'll finish the video. So if you guys have enjoyed it up until now, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already, guys. And we'll be back in a sec to show you the highlights of some of the games from the Weekend League. So, guys, you're getting to see the next five games as I record that video. So you're seeing game number 19... I don't know, all the way to 25 anyway. First game up against a solid uh, looking team, dangerous on the attack, and what's the best way to uh, deal with an attack like that? Pass them the ball, guys, because that is exactly what you should do within the first five minutes of your weekend league experience, and uh, we come back on the Saturday and give my opponent uh, a sitter. But he didn't need sitters, guys. He was a capable enough opponent to uh, give him the D regardless, and he goes 2 up with Coutinho, of all people, who you rarely see in the weekend league, he must have, and uh, he was bossing me like no tomorrow with a dribbling but looking back on the highlights i was absolutely all over the place in defending switching to players when i shouldn't do and uh, even though i got a bit lucky with some of the bounces going back to him it, i was just all over the shop and that's what happens when you come back in cold and uh, do try to do the business in weekend league going three nil down from this point guys my opponent was passing around he was slowing the game down to his style and uh, he'd got one breakaway here you can see Salah holding the ball nicely right, somehow holds off the defender and bangs it in from distance falling and up in the 55th it was looking like game over but then my opponent got a red card in and I think it was with Zaha as well and that caused gaps to open up in his defence we can uh, break through Pogba makes it 7-4 uh, sorry 4-1 in the 74th minute Still a long way to go, guys, if we were ever going to come back into it. And the dab is in Pogba's celebration. Anyway, I wouldn't be doing that when I was losing. Anyway, Petit with the ball inside through to Mbappe. Control and a smack. Seven, uh, what if it's in seven? 4-2 in the 80th minute. But, I don't know, going forward again. Gap opens up here. Nice turn by Alessandrini. Outside the foot finish. 4-3, 86 minutes. We then couldn't get the ball off my opponent for the rest of the game. But it was a tight game apart from the possession, but we do pick up our loss on the first game. Next opponent, Sice FC. I actually got a message after this guy afterwards. Uh, Aguero, De Bruyne, Inform, Zaha, the red one. Uh, Ericsson, Herrera, and I think it was Kante and Bakayoko um, in the defence. We were bossing this game. Then my opponent gets a snapshot off on the half-time whistle and does put him 1-0 up. But I didn't feel that... An I was annoyed that the goal had gone in, obviously, uh, but I wasn't that annoyed because I knew that I was capable enough to get into the game against him. Panicked, went, goes straight to the floor here. Valencia gets a shot in with his left foot, makes it 1-1 just after half-time. So his lead was reduced instantly, and uh, we were on the route to putting some more goals past him. We just needed that little bit of luck. Valencia with the ball through to Petit. Petit... Inside to Vidal, Vidal through to Mbappe, Mbappe over to Pogba, and Pogba takes a shot and Courtois, in, uh, like weirdly, puts it into his own net after he saved it. I don't know. Now, in the end of the part of this video, guys, I want to talk to you um, about interest in FIFA because I don't know. On a scale of one to ten, and I literally want this comment in the uh, in the comment section. I want it off all of you who stayed around uh, in this video for so long. What's your interest? On a scale of 1 to 10, with FIFA 18 at the moment, are you enjoying the game? Are you busy? Do you think there's too much? Do you think there's too less? But the main thing I want is your rating of interest um, in a scale of 1 to 10. My interest in the game is at an all-time low. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like that. I have no drive when it comes to doing the weekend league anymore. And you guys know me, I'm a competitive player. I love having to play around, I love winning games, I love uh, getting rewards, but um, I don't know, there just seems to be a feel within the community, within my videos um, at the moment, that not a lot of people uh, watch them, which is fair enough, but I think it's across the board, it's not just myself whose videos people aren't watching, and I think it could be a FIFA related um, problem. Now, Team of the Year. Hopefully it does come at the start of January. We'll have to wait and see what does happen with it. Fingers crossed it brings some hype back. But at the moment, not many people um, seem to be enjoying it. Looking at the state of Twitter and stuff like that. But I want to know your interest, uh, 1 to 10, uh, in the comment section below, guys. And I'll, I'll be very interested to read it on this Christmas Eve. Tomorrow we don't have any foot champions. We have a special pack opening with myself and Jack. And uh, then hopefully squad battle rewards uh, on... 
Squad Battle Rewards and Boxing Day morning, which I record on Christmas Day, and uh, that's me done. I'm having the day off. Um, but yeah, curious of, of your go, guys' interest, and uh, hopefully we can come back next week and uh, obviously feel refreshed, do all right, probably avoid Squad Battles, I don't know if it's costing me. But just have to wait and see. Anyway, now this guy's team that we just come up against, guys, was a very, very stacked one. I was uh, surprised when we took a 1 0 lead against him, but he was a guy with all the gear and no idea because he was all over the shop in defending, um, getting, I don't know, just doing anything, even in the, in the attack. And we go 2 0 up in the 22nd minute. Nice snapshot by Rui Costa. Keeper should have saved it. And I think we had one where the keeper should have saved it. I think it's maybe the next game where our keeper, or his keeper, sorry. Yeah, my keeper should have saved it, but he never, and it's a weird, it's a finesse shot from the D pad, um, at D, sorry, in the area, and uh, the keepers just seem to fall at it, it's not even just my keepers, it's a lot of keepers, so 3-0, 31st minute, instead of pressing the start button, my opponent, I think, either just quit the app or turned his Xbox off, but we get the win anyway, so two wins, one loss, um, up until this point, then we come against Rock Spurs, um, as his team name, Decent, Obviously, shell of a team with Farman, Boateng, uh, Alaba, Vidal, De Bruyne, and Nangolan. Vidal and Nangolan together were brutal to get past. We were having an alright game against him, not having that many chances, but then my opponent takes a weird off angled shot and goes in. Like, we had one in the previous game, so I can't complain, but that one was an important one because it, I don't know. Every time my opponent went forward after that, he was getting a goal. A ball split straight through the belly of my defence, goes through. Ball through here, first time finish. Cunegrero makes it three nil, and uh, it was looking like it was no no comeback in this game. But we hit the post like three or four times, couldn't get it into the back of the net. So I brought Salah, Salah and Alessandrini on, and uh, finally Pogba ball through to Salah, Salah through to Mbappe, Mbappe back to Salah, and Salah finishes it. We hit the post another two times after that, but we just couldn't get back into the game, guys. So we pick up a loss. That was probably one of my annoying losses which I had over the weekend. And then the final of the fifth game, guys, will come against Martial, Rui Costa, Eriksen. I think he may, have, looking at our team, might have been playing Rui Costa up front, you know. Um, Ozil, very slow team, and you can see we caught him on the counter. And Mbappe through, fake shot, defender overruns, and we get the finesse shot. 1-0 in the 21st minute. Nice finish, uh, composed by Mbappe, one of the reasons I do like him. Will I ever see him going out of the team? Only time will tell, guys. Only time will tell with him. Um, next uh, highlight you're seeing uh, the ball through to Mbappe. Mbappe waiting for the run of Vidal. Vidal gets the ball, uh, squares it through to uh, Martial, and somehow it goes back to Vidal, who gets a nice finish. And Courtois, again, making another mistake. Not just for this opponent, but my last opponent, or the opponent before that. And it puts us 2 0 up. So my opponent probably would have been triggered at that goal because he had a few chances but never put them in and then the third and final Short highlight guys comes from Valencia breaking down the wing cuts on the inside sees the gap Martial first time finish and a 3-0 range quit so that's my run of five games from this weekend league showing you three wins two losses we got 15 games left we are currently um, as I take a look at it guys we are currently sat in goal three with 19 wins with 15 games remaining can we get elite Bloody hope so, <laughs> but we need to win 10 games out of the last 15. It can be quite hard in the final 15 games, but we'll have to wait and see how we do anyway. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. Happy Christmas Eve for you guys who do celebrate it, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning with another video for you guys to enjoy on Christmas Day. But remember, enjoy time with your family.